Thomas Pelham Hollis, 1757, 1762. Thomas Pelham Hollis, the first Duke of Newcastle, 1693 to 1768, was a prominent British Whig statesman of the 18th century. Born into the influential Pelham family, he was the son of Thomas Pelham, 1st Baron Pelham, and his wife, Lady Grace Hollis. Pelham Hollis entered politics at an early age, serving as Member of Parliament for Sussex in 1710. His political ascent was marked by his ability to navigate the intricate web of British politics, forming strategic alliances and cementing his position as a key figure in the Whig Party. Known for his remarkable political longevity, Thomas Pelham Hollis held various prominent positions in the British government, including serving as Secretary of State and later as Prime Minister. He was instrumental in shaping British foreign policy during the critical years of the Seven Years' War, solidifying his reputation as a shrewd and influential statesman of his time. The years 1757 to 1762 were a tumultuous period in European history, marked by the intensification of the Seven Years' War, a global conflict that pitted major European powers against each other. Britain, under the leadership of King George II and later George III, found itself deeply embroiled in this protracted struggle for colonial dominance and maritime supremacy. This period witnessed a complex web of military maneuvers, shifting alliances, and diplomatic negotiations that significantly shaped the trajectory of European power dynamics. Domestically, Britain faced challenges ranging from economic pressures to political instability, all of which had profound implications for the country's governance and its role on the international stage. Against this backdrop, Thomas Pelham Hollis assumed critical responsibilities, steering the course of British foreign policy and domestic affairs during one of the most turbulent periods in European history. For Thomas Pelham Hollis, the years 1757 to 1762 represented a crucial phase in his political career, characterized by both challenges and opportunities. As a seasoned statesman and a key figure in the British government, his leadership during this period played a decisive role in shaping Britain's military strategies, diplomatic initiatives, and internal policies. The decisions he made, the alliances he forged, and the challenges he faced during the Seven Years' War left a lasting imprint on his legacy and on the broader course of British history. Understanding his role in this period is essential to comprehending the complexities of European power dynamics and the intricacies of 18th-century British politics. Thomas Pelham Hollis began his political career in the early 18th century, leveraging his family's influence and his own political acumen to ascend the ranks of British politics. His initial foray into politics as a member of Parliament for Sussex in 1710 marked the beginning of a long and illustrious career. He swiftly gained recognition for his adept negotiation skills and his ability to navigate the intricacies of the Whig Party, eventually securing influential positions within the government. Pelham Hollis' rise to power was propelled by his keen understanding of the dynamics of political patronage and his knack for cultivating key relationships with influential figures in the British establishment. His ascent to the position of Secretary of State and subsequent roles in the government solidified his reputation as a skilled politician and an adept administrator. Before 1757, Pelham Hollis honed a distinctive political approach characterized by strategic alliances and pragmatic policies. He adeptly maneuvered within the complex network of British politics, forging alliances with key political figures and leveraging these connections to consolidate his own power. His inclination toward maintaining a balance of power within the Whig Party and forming strategic coalitions enabled him to navigate the often turbulent waters of British politics. Pelham Hollis was known for his adept handling of delicate political situations, often employing a combination of compromise and assertiveness to achieve his political objectives. His ability to reconcile conflicting interests within the Whig Party and negotiate alliances with influential factions played a pivotal role in consolidating his own power base and shaping the trajectory of British politics leading up to the Seven Years' War. During the Seven Years' War, 1756-1763, Pelham Hollis faced a myriad of complex challenges that tested his political acumen and leadership abilities. As a key figure in the British government, he was tasked with navigating the intricacies of international diplomacy, managing military strategies, and dealing with the financial and logistical strains of a protracted global conflict. 
Hallam Hollis was confronted with the task of rallying both domestic and international support for the war effort while simultaneously addressing internal dissent and challenges within the government. His role in coordinating military operations, negotiating alliances with other European powers, and managing the financial burdens of the war showcased his ability to handle high-pressure situations and make crucial decisions that shaped the course of the conflict. However, his leadership was not without criticism, as he faced opposition and scrutiny from within the government and the public sphere, challenging his political efficacy and leadership during this critical period. The years 1757 to 1762 witnessed a tumultuous period in European history, with the Seven Years' War raging across continents. Within this global conflict, significant events unfolded that shaped the dynamics of power in Europe and beyond. Key military events such as the Battle of Plassey in 1757, the Battle of Wandawash in 1760, and the Battle of Havana in 1762 were pivotal moments that defined the trajectory of the war and the colonial ambitions of the major European powers. Domestically, the period was marked by social and economic upheavals that influenced the political landscape and tested the resilience of the British government. Thomas Pelham Hollis, as a seasoned statesman, played a critical role in the formation and management of alliances during the Seven Years' War. Understanding the importance of securing strong diplomatic ties, he skillfully negotiated alliances with Prussia, Portugal, and other European powers, forming coalitions that bolstered Britain's position in the war. His diplomatic maneuvers were instrumental in ensuring the continuity of military support and resources, contributing significantly to the overall success of the British war effort. Pelham Hollis' ability to navigate the complex web of European alliances and maintain a delicate balance between various competing interests was crucial in consolidating Britain's position as a dominant global power. His adept management of alliances reflected his diplomatic prowess and strategic foresight, underscoring his role as a pivotal figure in shaping the course of the war and its aftermath. Pelham Hollis' approach to domestic policies during the tumultuous period of the Seven Years' War played a vital role in determining the resilience and stability of the nation. His policies were aimed at mitigating the economic strains of the war, ensuring social cohesion, and maintaining the integrity of the British government. His administration grappled with challenges such as inflation, war-related taxation, and public discontent, necessitating a delicate balance between sustaining the war effort and addressing the needs of the populace. Pelham Hollis' management of domestic policies had a significant impact on the nation, shaping the economic landscape and influencing social dynamics. His pragmatic approach to balancing the demands of war with the welfare of the people contributed to the overall resilience of the British society during a period of intense military conflict and economic strain. However, his policies were not without controversy, as they prompted debates over governance, taxation, and the role of the government in addressing the needs of its citizens. Thomas Pelham Hollis encountered a multitude of domestic and foreign challenges during his tenure, especially in the tumultuous period of the Seven Years' War. Domestically, he grappled with the economic strains imposed by the war effort, managing inflation, and addressing the public discontent arising from increased taxation and war-related hardships. Foreign challenges included navigating the complexities of international diplomacy, securing military alliances, and managing the competing interests of various European powers. Furthermore, maintaining the stability of Britain's colonial holdings and managing the associated conflicts added to the complexity of his challenges. Pelham Hollis' government was not immune to internal controversies and conflicts, which often revolved around divergent policy approaches, competing interests among key political factions, and power struggles within the administration. His leadership was frequently challenged by opposition forces and dissenting voices within the government, which led to debates and conflicts over the direction of foreign policy, the management of domestic affairs, and the allocation of resources during the war. Furthermore, his reliance on certain political allies and the subsequent influence they wielded within the government fueled tensions and controversies within his administration. In response to the challenges and intrigues he faced, Pelham Hollis employed a range of strategies to maintain stability and effectively manage the complexities of governance. He skillfully balanced the demands of various factions within the government, often resorting to a combination of negotiation, compromise, and strategic alliances to secure the support necessary for his policies and initiatives. 
His adept utilization of diplomatic channels and his ability to leverage his extensive political network were crucial in managing foreign challenges and securing critical alliances. Moreover, he initiated measures to address domestic discontent by implementing pragmatic economic policies aimed at stabilizing the economy and alleviating the burdens on the public. His emphasis on maintaining a united front and fostering a sense of national resilience helped mitigate the impact of internal conflicts and bolstered public confidence in the government's ability to navigate the challenges of the war. Overall, his strategic acumen and political dexterity enabled him to effectively navigate the intricate web of challenges and intrigues, leaving a lasting imprint on the course of British governance and diplomacy during this critical period. Thomas Pelham Hollis made significant contributions to Britain's foreign policy during the Seven Years' War, playing a pivotal role in shaping the course of the conflict and securing strategic alliances that bolstered Britain's position on the global stage. His adept diplomacy and strategic maneuvers strengthened Britain's military alliances with key European powers, allowing for a more cohesive and coordinated approach to the war effort. His emphasis on balancing the interests of various stakeholders within the British government and fostering diplomatic relationships with both traditional allies and new partners contributed to the eventual success of Britain and its allies in the conflict. Pelham Hollis' far-sighted foreign policy decisions left a lasting legacy, establishing a framework for future British foreign policy initiatives and solidifying Britain's position as a dominant global power. His contributions during the Seven Years' War laid the foundation for Britain's subsequent diplomatic endeavors and shaped the trajectory of its foreign relations well into the 19th century. Pelham Hollis' impact on domestic policies and governance was characterized by his pragmatic approach to balancing the demands of war with the welfare of the British populace. His economic policies aimed at mitigating the adverse effects of the war on the economy, managing inflation, and addressing the financial burdens imposed on the public demonstrated his commitment to maintaining domestic stability amidst external challenges. His emphasis on fostering unity and resilience within British society helped alleviate social tensions and fostered a sense of national cohesion during a period of significant strain. Furthermore, his legacy in governance highlighted the importance of maintaining a delicate balance between the interests of various political factions and the need for a cohesive and effective administration. His emphasis on consensus building and the management of diverse viewpoints within the government laid the groundwork for a more inclusive and collaborative approach to governance, shaping the trajectory of British domestic policies and governance in the years to come. Thomas Pelham Hollis' long-term influence on British politics and international relations was profound, as his leadership during the Seven Years' War established a precedent for strategic diplomacy and pragmatic governance that transcended his own era. His adept handling of international alliances and his emphasis on the importance of maintaining a strong diplomatic network influenced subsequent British leaders and policymakers, shaping the trajectory of British foreign policy in the centuries that followed. During his tenure, Thomas Pelham Hollis faced both praise and criticism for his leadership. Contemporary criticisms often revolved around his handling of the financial strain imposed by the Seven Years' War and the associated taxation burdens on the public. Some critics argued that his economic policies were inadequate in addressing the hardships faced by the populace, leading to discontent and unrest. Additionally, some contemporary voices questioned his diplomatic decisions and alliances, citing concerns about their long-term implications for British interests. Others criticized his management of domestic affairs, pointing to instances of political favoritism and an alleged lack of responsiveness to the needs of the people. The historical interpretations of Thomas Pelham Hollis' legacy have been diverse, reflecting the evolving perspectives of different historians and scholars over time. Some interpretations emphasize his role as a pragmatic statesman who skillfully navigated the complexities of 18th-century British politics, effectively managing the challenges posed by the Seven Years' War and leaving a lasting imprint on British foreign policy. Others critique his leadership style highlighting instances of political opportunism and the challenges he faced in reconciling competing interests within the government. Furthermore, some historians view Pelham Hollis' legacy through the lens of broader historical trends, emphasizing his contributions to the evolution of British governance and diplomacy. Others contextualize his tenure within the larger framework of European power struggles, emphasizing the significance of his diplomatic initiatives in shaping the balance of power on the continent. 
Thomas Pelham Hollis holds a significant place in the broader context of British political history, representing a transitional figure in the evolution of 18th century British governance. His leadership during the Seven Years' War marked a crucial phase in the consolidation of Britain's global power and its emergence as a dominant force in international relations. His pragmatic approach to governance and diplomacy set a precedent for subsequent British statesmen, shaping the trajectory of British foreign policy and governance in the centuries that followed. Furthermore, his contributions to the development of diplomatic strategies and his emphasis on the importance of maintaining a delicate balance of power within the government influenced the evolution of British political institutions, leaving a lasting legacy that continues to shape the dynamics of British politics. Pelham Hollis' place in British political history underscores his enduring influence on the trajectory of the nation's governance and its role on the global stage, cementing his status as a pivotal figure in the annals of British political leadership. Thomas Pelham Hollis' enduring impact on British politics and international relations is a testament to his legacy as a skilled diplomat and pragmatic statesman. His contributions to the evolution of British governance, the establishment of diplomatic strategies, and the consolidation of Britain's global influence continue to reverberate through the annals of history. His emphasis on maintaining a delicate balance of power, fostering unity within the government, and prioritizing the nation's interests established a blueprint for future British leaders. His enduring influence on British politics and international relations underscores his status as a pivotal figure in shaping the trajectory of Britain's governance and its role on the global stage. Thank you for watching this video. If you found it informative, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future.